We outside, outside. Thank you for tuning in. FB Diddy, or we outside, Davidson, uh, Gerardo Cabrera. Thank you for tuning in to my live stream on Sunday. What day is today? Today is April 7th. My birthday next week. I'm an old man. I'm going to be 42 years old. But I feel great. We went like, I did some rounds of sparring yesterday, and I think I did great. I think I did great for my age, at least. David Benavidez apologizes for being drunk yesterday. I didn't see him drunk, but I seen an interview real quick with his own with him. And he looked a little like he just had, not maybe, not one too many, but maybe not too many, but he shouldn't have been on camera, you know. And he apologized today. He said, yo, bro, I'm sorry to all my fans for being drunk, uh, having a little too much to drink, you know. But um, somebody asked me yesterday, they said, how you feel about David being drunk? I said, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it at all, man. But it's probably the first time you're going to see him drunk like that. He said, I want to take this time to apologize to all my fans and to the people that see me last night drunk i had one too many drinks and made a complete fool of myself this will never happen ever again do you believe that man yeah they rob lemos i don't care what nobody say bro i mean people only people saying that uh lemos didn't get robbed is richardson hitchens homies you know you you see a couple professional boxers not, nothing against them but they richardson hitchens homies and that's cool you know you're supposed to have your homies back I didn't, I didn't see him winning at all. I seen that man hurt, getting pieced up with body shots, head shots, all type of shit. You know what I mean? He said, bro, you going to talk about Tank for putting on muscles? Yo, Adman Dada, I, I seen the footage of Javante. See, like, Adman Dada, thank you for the catch yet, bro. But uh, let me see. He said, he said, are you going to talk trash to Javante for putting on muscles? Javante Davis released this footage, y'all. Does it look like Javante put on muscle, or is he just more shredded? You see, a clown like Mr. Admin Dada, who just sent me a cash app, I'm not going to talk trash about Javante Davis, because you are not right. Javante did not put on muscle, bro. He is the same exact size. He just more, a little more ripped up. Right, CG Cap. Yo, CG Cap, you box, right? This dude who just sent me a cash at the troll, he don't know he don't know what being cut up is, and he don't know what putting on muscle is. So, thank you for sending me your mama's money, clown. Javante Davis got a little more cut up, but he didn't put on muscle. Stupid. If he put on muscle, yeah, he got he got more abs. It just means he been training harder. Stupid. He taking his craft more seriously. He more ripped up. That don't mean he put on muscle, dum dum. But I wouldn't expect somebody who watches boxing to know about boxing, to know about cutting weight, all that type of shit. Yeah, CG Cap, you right. The wood, what up, bro? They sitting there talking about Javante Davis. He uh, some clowns like, yo, jo Tank didn't put on no muscle. He's just getting cut up more, bro. I, I wouldn't expect a boxing fan to know shit. Like I say, it's only about 10% 10, 10 of boxing fans who actually know the sport. Hugo say he in great shape. He is in great shape. He's training hard for this for this uh Frank Martin fight. But yeah, David Benavidez was drunk. Y'all was asking me yesterday what I thought about that. And I said, yo, bro, um, I don't agree with David being drunk. I don't care what y'all say. I'm a David fan, but just because I'm a fan of a man in the ring doesn't mean don't mean I I agree with every single thing he do in his life. That's y'all like like y'all uh like the Devin Haney fans. They agree with all the Fugazi shit that Bill do outside the ring. They agree with Bill uh, like that clown. Ring walk Danny. He said he's from Chicago. I asked him to spar a couple weeks ago. He blocked me. But um, he a Devin Dick eater. You know what I mean? And if you feel some type of way, if, you, if you're if in Chicago, we could definitely link. And I will beat the piss and shit out of you on camera. You know, with the gloves on, of course. But yeah, um, I don't agree with every single thing that David Benavidez do outside the ring. You know, like the testing positive for cocaine. That's in the past. That's in a fuck the past. We we're talking about yesterday, though. I don't agree with David being drunk. I don't drink. I don't glorify people who drink. Really quick. Hold up. Thank you for the cash at Mr. Chase. He said, B. Diddy gave back shots to his own 
Yo, that's crazy, bro. Big Duce, I hear you, bro. But you know what, Big Duce, I'm not going to read that out loud. But you know what? Well, what you said in your cash app, I wouldn't put it past him, bro. He, he might have done that. You know what I mean? He might have done that. But um, I see what you're saying, bro. I see what you're saying. Thank, thank you for the cash app, bro. Um, Yeah, yeah, for sure. He probably did. He, he probably did, bro. He probably did. What up? I don't like David Benavidez. Most of time, I'm for the drunk and culture now. Yeah, bro. I, I, you know, he can move wherever he want, but I, I just, I, I don't agree with uh, the drinking thing. But according to David, you never finna see him drunk again, bro. You, according to David, do I believe him? I hope so. Maybe he might. He, I think he should just get drunk behind the scenes. I don't agree with a boxer drinking in his life. You know what I mean? So, but um, did y'all see this? Hold on, hold on. Carissa T. Rex Shields. And Alicia Baumgartner, a.k.a. Mrs. Mesterolone. I believe that's what she tested positive for. Carissa T. Red Shields, the quote, presses Alicia drug cheat Baumgartner. She called her a drug cheat because Alicia Baumgartner, ever since she started training with Bill Haney, she wants to take on this villain role. It's like wrestling. Women's boxing is not that popular in boxing. So they got to do extra shit like Alicia Baumgartner. Say what you want. I'm not a fan of her no more. You know what I mean? Because she relies more on, she tries to be cute as opposed to be good. I know she avenged her only loss. Hey, yo, Lil J, your brother called me yesterday. He was at the fight, Lil J. Your brother called me. He said, yo, David's here all drunk. And um, yeah, he was with Kamel. Yeah, uh, Alicia Baumgartner relies more on she tries to be cute. And I know a, a lot of, you know, she got a lot of male fans who, who you know, they, they tune into her because of her looks. And that's cool. You know, I mean, if you like her for her looks. But um, this is boxing at the end of the day. And she did test positive. And she is now training with Mr. Bill Haney. Ever since she got with Bill Haney, she wanted, she wanted to take on this villain role. Ever since she got with Bill Haney, she's been talking out more to Clarissa Shields, knowing that Clarissa Shields would beat the shit out the girl. But they had like a little back and forth. Um, Clarissa Shields put her hands on her. She touched her right here. Look, she touched her, and Alicia Baumgartner really didn't do shit about it. You know, she put her hands on her. You know, she, all that shit talking on Twitter. She She's a pass around. Damn, the world he went. She a passer. But check this out. Good plan. I ran up on her. I smacked her him like she looked back. I said, what's up? <laughs> this shit is too funny. Check this out. Hey, pay a, I edited this clearly, but this is the funniest shit. And I will put, I will be putting this in the video later. To me, this shit is funny. Um, I have a different sense of humor than some of y'all. This is everybody check out what Clarissa Shield said. I have a very different sense of humor. I think shit's funny that probably shouldn't be funny. Like sometimes I watch compilations of motherfuckers falling down the stairs, getting hit by cars. I like to watch compilations of motherfuckers just getting hit by cars. Sometimes my sense of humor is fucked up. But watch, check this out. I ran up on her. Bitch, please. Quit playing with me. I ran up on that silly hoe. I done put my hands on her. She got to putting her hand on my face. Bitch, you better move your motherfucking hand on my face while I snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. You done met your fucking match. I, I ran up on her. Good plan. I ran up on her. I smacked her him like she looked back. I said, what's up? <laughs> what we doing? I'm going to run up on you. Listen, ain't no might to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me. Nothing at all. If she could, I wouldn't be running my mouth like this. <laughs> I think that shit's hilarious, bro. Yo, Devin the Simpany on Rumble. I, I see your comments, bro. I'm not going to put them on the screen, but I see y'all on Rumble. If you're on Rumble, give me a thumbs up. Um, Cash App is open on a, on the a YouTube Live. Super Chat is open on Rumble. But, uh, yeah. He said, Arrow, Sam I am. Sam I am on Rumble. Yeah, for sure. But uh, I, I think she's funny, man. She's she's not letting... um. And the Felicia... Oh, shout out to Jahan Ingram. He sent me this footage right here. Hold up. She was in her face because Alicia Baumgartner turned into a, a Twitter thug. 
because she's training with Bill Haney and she feels like she want to be internet tough, but in real life, she didn't do a motherfucking thing. And I, I think that, you know, the, the way that... She said, you scared? She goes, of what? Never. 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 And you hear your high Instagram saying, never, never. He was trying to instigate shit. Hold up. Hold up, right here, hold up. Look at her insecurity. Look at that. Look at her insecurity. Notice how right away she said, look at her insecurity. Alicia Baumgartner is one of the females who think just because, you know, some men might think that she look better than her, that that makes her better than her as a person. Just because Alicia Baumgartner believes that she is more physically attractive than Clarissa Shields, that automatically she is the better person. She just had to think, yo, I'm cuter than her, so I'm I'm a better fighter than her. I don't, I don't give a damn how she look. Who gives a damn, bro? She, and she looked too little, too strong in her face. At the end of the sport, at the end of the day, it's the sport of boxing. And she ain't nowhere near accomplished. Yo, right the wood, bro? She one of them girls who just think that, she one of them girls who just think that um her looks is going to get her places, bro. She one of them girls who, gonna, who, who thinks that because she thinks she cute or she read her comments who believe she cute, then, um, you know, that that's going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, jawline strong as hell. Uh, Winnie do? Yeah, yeah, you're right, bro. I don't give a damn how a girl looks, bro. So, so some some guys are simps. A lot of the guys in her comment sections, they, they're simps for her. They they are simps for her. Yo, that, that is not no Mazuma TV on um, Rumble. But you know what? I'm gonna hide you. There you go. Yeah, you gotta hide clowns like that, bro. Um, you probably face down ass up five times a day, right? You probably pretend you're fasting up until seven o'clock, then you go to the buffet. SMD praise Jesus. But yeah, um, Alicia Baumgartner believes that because she believes she may be cuter than Princess Shields, that that's 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 gonna do something as far as boxing. That don't mean shit. Insecurity. Look at that. Look at her insecurity. If y'all know a woman, this woman. Yo, Juwan, bro. Why you not a moderator, Juwan, bro? Hey, yo, Juwan, bro. Hey, yo, Juwan, bro. Hey, yo, shout out to my homie, Juwan, bro. Um, Matter of fact, hey, yo, Juwan, you can say him this. Yo, Juwan, hey, hold up, hold up, really quick. Um, Some clown that I beat this shit out of. Matter of fact, Hold up. I want y'all to check this out because this clown wants some attention. Hey, yo, Juwan, this is for you, bro. If I, I know that's you. Hold up, y'all. Hey, everybody take a look at this, 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 this little video right here, bro. Everybody take a look at this video. Hey, can you please explain to me what y'all are seeing in this video? I'm going to upload it. You ain't never. I'm going to make you a moderator right now, Juwan, bro. I see you, bro. Hold up. I got you. Hold up. I want y'all to take a look at this video, and you let me know what you see. I got you right now, Juwan. I'm, I'm going to go in the chat, and I'll make you a moderator. What's that? Hold on. Here you go. I got you, bro. Hold on. I'll make you a moderator right now. I'm going to get back to this. Here we go. Man, what the hell is up with this, bro? For some reason, it ain't loading to the motherfucking. There you go. Hold up. There you go. Hold up. Check this out, y'all, real quick. What do y'all see happening in, in, in this clip right here? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. What do y'all see happening in this clip, y'all? Take, I'm gonna get back to Alicia Baumgartner in one second, but yeah, that take your time. I got you right here. Look, check this out. That looks like me stopping some goof troop, right? 
I sparred this guy for like 20 seconds. Apparently, this guy is like the he he runs a fight league. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's like the owner of some fight league. It looks like I'm boxing a bum. Yo, against the ropes. Yo, yo, hold up. That's exactly what it is, bro. Apparently, this guy, this motherfucker think he tough. <laughs> Fight. I said fight. So if I wanted to, I could have given him uppercut end of his life. Apparently, this guy has a fight league. I had no idea until my homie Jawan told me. And apparently, uh, he got a fight coming up. He was talking crazy. I said, if you could knock me out, I will give you a thousand dollars. And he said, show me the money. Hey, hey, y'all. Um, the wood, Caesar. He said, show me the money. And I said, what type of kid shit is that? I'm supposed to have a thousand dollars cash on me? Like, like what? Like uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got a thousand dollars, but it's in the bank. I'm not hey, I will cash at you. What, what the fuck I gotta lie about a thousand dollars for? I said, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can knock me out today. Cause apparently he's tough now. He was talking shit to my homie Juwan. Shout out to my homie Juwan. I don't know if he's still there, bro. But um, apparently he got a fight league. I will beat the living shit out, buddy, bro. And um, I said we could spark the Juwan. Hey, hey, what time you hit me up? Like at seven o'clock in the morning and shit. You you text me early, right, bro? But uh, yeah, bro. Um, my offer stands, bro. Hey, yo, Juwan, you could scream and call this and send it to his ass. I would beat this shit out you, bro. <laughs> that was probably the easiest 15 seconds of my life, bro. I sparred the guy for 15 seconds. I hit him with one liver shot, and that was it. Yeah, like at 10 o'clock, Juwan, right? You a model, but yeah. Yeah, bro. So tell him that if he's willing to box with me, I will put it on my channel, bro. You know what I mean? And he could grow his little weak-ass trash league. Hey, yo, bro. See, see how I had you, bro? I could have threw an uppercut and left you sleeping right there for the rest of your life, bro. You are trash. The worst guy I ever sparred with. Literally the worst man I ever sparred with. If you had some fucking balls, you would have manned up today and I could have went live and beat the shit out of you again. You know what I'm saying? You could never fuck with me. And I'll be 42 years old next week. I'm an old man who beat the shit out your ass. Acting like you some type of tough. Right, dude. Right. He's talking about, yeah, show me a thousand dollars cash. We wait, wait, with you a little ass kid. You probably stay with your mama, bro. Matter of fact, F your mama. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Dewan. Hey, Dewan, show him that. I'm not gonna give him no word. Hey, but hey, if you box with me, I will I will shout out your fight league. Cause you hey, apparently he's the chief of his fight league. And I left him in, in a in a in a throwing up position, like he like he was vomiting, bro. Like he was vomiting up vaginal secretions, bro. Like real shit. You can't fuck with me, bro. I stopped him in like 15 seconds. He trashed. But anyway, back to the, the subject at hand. Enough about buddy. But I see, Bitch, I see please. My had a... Quit playing with me. I ran up on that silly hoe. I done put my hands on her. She got to putting her hand on my face. Bitch, you better move your motherfucking hand on my face while I snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. <laughs> you done met your fucking match. I, I ran up on that hoe. Quit playing. I ran up on her. I smacked her hand like she looked back. I said, what's up? What we doing? I'm gonna run up on you. Listen, ain't no might to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me. Nothing at all. If she could, I wouldn't be running my mouth like this. Carissa Shields makes a good point. If if Alicia Baumgartner was able to do anything with Clarissa Shields, why would Clarissa be talking like that? Clarissa Shields ain't scared of nobody. Clarissa Shields talk like Mike's Ep Mike Epson all about the Benjamins. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, uh, um, Jawan, bro, I chopped out the parts where she sounded funny. You know what I'm saying? She just, she did like a 30 minute live, bro, but I chopped out that shit. I, I put out just the funny parts, bro. Clarissa Shields ain't scared of nobody. She fought that big ass of uh, Michaela Mayer. Michaela Mayer, big as hell. She beat the shit out of her. Those y'all who box, if you box, and you watch Alicia Baumgartner and Clarissa Shields. What is the difference in style between Clarissa Shields and Alicia Baumgartner? If you box, you know the difference. If, if you ever seen them fight. Harry Wayne, what up, bro? I appreciate you tapping in, bro. I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. But what is the difference between Alicia Baumgartner's style and um 
The Quincy Shield style. The quote, Savannah Marshall couldn't do nothing with her. And she big as hell, strong as hell, knockout puncher. You're right, bro. What's the difference, y'all? Y'all know the difference if you box. If you don't box, you're probably not going to get it. Quincy Shields has footwork. Cognac, she do got footwork, bro. She do got footwork. But I'm talking about her output. Shields is a dog, right? No, no, for sure. For sure. Alicia a dog too, but you know, when you test positive, that could that could create a dog in you that you don't really have. Bomb Garner gasses after four rounds, but there's a reason for that. I, I'm just gonna tell you Alicia Bomb Garner. If you know what you're looking at, hold on, let me, let me take this off the screen real quick. Jab. Alicia got pink. She couldn't keep an eye contact. Never turn your back on you. She does that too. She turned her back. Alicia Bomb Garner likes to jab, jab, and then she likes to load up. Well, uppercut. She likes to load up on a lot of shit. Carissa Shields, output. Jab, jab, two. Jab, jab, two. Combinations like a motherfucker, bro. Alicia Baumgartner looks for one, maybe two punches at a time. She looks for that one big shot because, you know, she got power. I don't know where it come from, but she does have power. Power don't mean shit if you only throw in one or two punches at a time. Alicia Baumgartner is a one or two punch type of fighter. Carissa Shields got combinations, which means something in boxing. Alicia Baumgartner looks looks for one big shot, maybe two. That is it. She she doesn't have enough in her arsenal to compete with Clarissa T. Rex Shields. That's why I think it'll be an easy victory. Bitch, for the please. Bigger. Quit hold playing on. with me. I ran up on that silly. It'll be an easy fight for the bigger Clarissa T. Rex Shields. And I can't stand them girls who think that their looks equals that they are good people. You know, uh, some of the prettiest girls in the world, who, who, who some of the girls who y'all may think is pretty, they be the worst type of people in real life. Um, let me ask y'all a question to all, all, all the uh, the fellas in the chat. Would you rather have a girl who's a 10 out of 10, but she a B-I-T-C-H and she probably gets ran through every single day? Or would you rather have a solid six with a beautiful Beautiful feminine personality that just shoots her up to the sky. Come on, bro. You don't like Alicia no more? Mika Jackson, do it sound like I like Alicia, bro? Hey, yo, bro. Do it sound like I like Alicia, bro, Mika Jackson? Nah, nah, you cool. Ain't that the truth? Thank you. I'd rather have a solid six with a beautiful feminine personality, feminine energy, not all that tough Tony shit. You know what I mean? You rather have a you rather have a 10 out of 10? That's you, bro, because you're a simp and you're hypnotized by women's looks. You the type of motherfucker to have a bitch take your wallet, empty out your wallet, and give it back to you and say, go home. And you will say, yes, ma'am. None of that shit. You know what I mean? You are uh you are the prime example of a simp. You the type to go to a stripper and say, Why are you working here? You better than this. No one she just ate five dicks in, in the back room, in the little lab dance room. You know what I mean? You the type of motherfucker to, uh, to go up to a prostitute on the street and say you're better than this. You're better than this. You 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 drink. You know what I mean? Not me, bro. I'd rather have a solid six with a personality that shoots it to the sky, bro. But some of y'all don't know about that. Y'all y'all are so child minded that that uh you just fought for looks. Um, that's y'all, bro. One day you will grow up. I'm gonna be 42 next week, bro. Um, it's gonna take more than. A, a, a bitch, a, a female like Alicia Baumgartner to do so. Uh, uh, I love my wife. You know what I mean? And some of y'all would, wouldn't know shit about that. He says, stop making me laugh. If I'm making you laugh, cool. I, I'd rather uh, be making you laugh than making you uh, upset. But um, yeah, really quick again, to those of y'all who just got here. Lil J say, look, dumb. Hey, you Lil J, you like 17 years old, ain't you? Oh no, yeah, you, you put your... You you probably got some little girlfriends out there in Las Vegas. I ran up on her. I smacked her him like she looked back. I said, "What's up? What we doing? I'm gonna run up on you. Listen, ain't no mic to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me. Nothing at all. I like that. He, I'm gonna run up on you. Playing with me. Hey, I like that. She's like, I'm gonna run up on you. I ran up on that silly hoe. I done put my hands on her. She got to putting her hand in my face, bitch. You better move your motherfucking hand on my face while I snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. You done met your fucking match. I ran up on her hoe. Good plan. I ran up on her. I smacked. That shit too funny, bro. I don't know about y'all, but I think that shit's funny. That's funny as hell. 
I ran up on a hoe. I ran up on her. I like that. Uh, Jay Kane says simps are safe in these days because most men don't believe in masculinity. I think that simps on the internet who be all up in these women's DMs and shit because they putting out filtered pictures or like 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 uh somebody who likes somebody like Alicia Baumgartner, I think they ruin the earth because um they don't got no confidence in real life. So they they go all up in her comment section and they 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 pump her head up. You know what I mean? She don't look like that when she wake up, bro. She the type that'll wash her face and it's over with. You know what I mean? Yeah, she, uh Alicia Baumgartner has stands zero chance against Clarissa Shields, bro. But um, I, I think, uh, and it's not the Sims' fault at all. I, I was talking to my wife earlier. I said, uh, I never had no issue with, I never was like that. I never was like super thirsty for a, a, anybody. You know what I mean? I, I grew up in, in like the 90s, bro. Uh, things were different. You know what I mean? Or nowadays, a lot, a lot of these little uh, clowns, uh, it was just a different time. We bias on this channel, goofies. Yeah, bro. I'm very biased, bro. I'm super biased. I'm a grown ass man. It's not that I'm biased. I'm just honest. Some channels pretend that they don't have their favorite. Route. I'm just honest. Call it bias if you want. I call it honest. Mistake. Why he hidden the wood? Who hidden? They never improve. Yeah, it's like Sims who make fake accounts on here on Rumble. Like, like you know, demo. You don't got no girlfriend, bro. Hey, yo, uh, I, a, a couple of clowns on Rumble. You know damn well you never had one female in your life, bro. Um, yeah, he said they speech is hood. It's not even a speech, bro. They speech could be hood. Yo, a buddy on Rumble. They speech could be hood, but they could still be um have better values than a. It, it's girls with great speech, but they can still be hoes. You know what I mean that that don't mean nothing. I hope you're having a good weekend, bro. Carlos Right Hood boxing. I'm having a great weekend because I am sober, unlike you. You be drinking and shit. You was like David Benavidez yesterday, wasn't you? He says, Sky Nicholson is gassed as... Who's Sky Nicholson? I don't know who that is. Who's that? Who is Sky Nicholson, bro? Alicia and Devin are the same. Devin will shove Loma, but not Regis. You know what? Yeah, yeah, you're right, bro. That's called the bully. It's called somebody who picks and chooses who they get tough with. If you pick and choose who you are tough with, then you are a bully. All a bully really is is a coward. If you are a bully, all that means is that you are scared of somebody who will go outside your head. Um, That's all a bully really is, bro. Devin will shove Loma, but not Regis. Right. He'll shove Lil Loma, but he won't shove Regis. Alicia will try to punk Michaela Mayer, but not Carissa Shields. B. Diddy is training cowards who are not like that in real life. Kaladin Stormbringer, I like your comment on Rumble. Great comment. Alicia Baumgartner knows who to get tough with. She picks and chooses who to get tough with. <laughs> yeah, that's some funny shit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, bro. You know what I mean? Richardson Hitchens lost last night. Hey, yo, the wood. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Richardson Hitchens, he didn't do enough, bro. He was jabbing and moving. That dude from Argentina was tough as hell. He came with body shots, hooks. He came just beating the man up, stumbling him and everything. I don't think that Richardson Hitchens did enough. Richardson Hitchens is a, just like Devin Haney. He looks to jab, jab, two, pivot out. That is it. That is all. Baumgartner need to stop. Now, we all saw what we needed. She need to leave the goat alone. I agree with you on that, bro. You better leave Clarissa Shields alone. Clarissa Shields is about maybe 45 pounds heavier than her. It wouldn't even be close, bro. It wouldn't even be close. You can see she's just a bigger girl. Clarissa Shields is the only two-time gold medalist, American gold medalist in the Olympics. No other American, male or female, has won two gold medals. See, Will, say, all right, bro, got to catch you. Yo, it's okay, bro. Hey, yo, bro, um, send that to Buddy, bro. Tell him I offer stands forever. It's it's all good, uh, uh, Juwan, bro. All love, bro. But send that to him, bro. I'm gonna be hey, when I see him, it's on site. Tell him I said that, and you can show him this shit. Acting like you some type of tough. I don't beat your ass in 35 seconds. But yeah, bro, you good? Integrity, woman principles, and loyalty is what grown men like, for sure. Absolutely, Carissa will bully her bad, real bad. 
Baumgartner is delusional. Thanks to Bill Haney. Yeah, he he got her thinking she's some type of villain, and she's not even a good villain because she's a coward. She's not. Hey, a good villain is a villain all the way. Elite, uh, Clarissa Shields put her hands on her, bro. Who you pressing? Some clown who was just I beat his ass before, and now he's talking because you know. Yeah, put her hands on her. Yeah, some clown that uh, I stopped him in like thirty five seconds. Now he want to text my homie, talk about he tough, and I said we ate. Hey, my homie texted me at like 10 o'clock in the morning. And I said, bro, we, we could box again right now. I stopped you last time and I'll stop you again. And then he's like, um, oh, I got fights coming up, this and this. He one of them internet thugs who just, he only tough in comment sections. Yeah, he not even a good, yeah, exactly. We outside, yeah, yeah. There's certain comments on Rumble that I can't see. Like, I made it so when somebody talk gangster, they can't even be seen. We outside. I don't know. If somebody's talking trash on Rumble, let him talk trash, bro. I can't see him. He say, hold up. Yo, what's up, Paul? What's going on, broski? What's up, bro? You know what I mean? Cassier Wilson. What's up, bro? It's all love, bro. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, yo, Josh. Um... Josh tried to say a gangster comment, but I caught him. He tried to retract it. Hey, yo, Dominican me, bro. Yo, Dominican me, bro. You don't time people out, bro. You block them, Dominican me, bro. Yo, uh, Dominican me. Dominican me, bro. Um, I'm not going to block you, bro. I'm just saying. Yo, uh, Dominican me, bro. Don't time people out. You block them on site, bro. I, I saw that you timed them out. Yeah, okay, you good. You all good, bro. Yeah, you should make me a mod, bro, if you don't mind me asking. Why would you go and say some clown-ass shit like that? You just got yourself blocked, and you just made your shit. I, I don't make... Uh, I, I will not be having no more moderators. My moderators is going to be who I got here and females. The females do a better job than some of y'all. They be sniping motherfuckers. Females be on top of that shit. Hold up, hold up. Chino D, what do he say? Chino D says, laughing out loud. I got you, though. You cool, Dominican me, bro? Yeah, I seen he was talking shit. I seen what he said. But, you know, don't time him out. He said, watch him off about Devin Haney. Who you press? I'm not pressing nobody. You want to be part of the Southpaw team? Damn, you want to be part of my team, bro? I don't got no team, bro. Um, Yeah, bro, I see you got a real channel. Uh, you, you could comment, but I don't even know. Uh, it looked like you, let me see. Oh, you from the UK, bro? The, uh, who, who said that? CSC, you from the UK? You cool, bro, but, um, I, I, I don't. I don't know you enough like that, bro. Why does people wrench? What does the wrench on people's profile mean? It means they could block people from commenting uh, ever again. Because some people be saying, get, some people are only tough on, on the internet. What the fuck you got going on? These motherfuckers be thirsty to be a mod. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm not making no more mods, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't know what you want to be a mod for, but don't ask. Don't even ask. You're not. You're not being a moderator, bro. I'm, I'm the motherfucking moderators be blocking people on their own or they be timing out people. It's just one simple rule, bro. The motherfuckers say some gangster shit, they just get blocked, bro. I don't give a fuck about subscribers. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You get yourself blocked. Anyway, right. Yeah, I don't give a damn about that shit, bro. How do you think Oscar De La Hoya feels after watching Devin? Yeah, he was at Devin Haney's workout the other day. Oscar De La Hoya smart, bro. He knows what's going to happen. I'm rooting for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia made me a, a co-host on his little Twitter space last week. Does that mean I'm, I'm going to be stupid? No. Devin Haney is probably going to beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia. He's probably going to whoop Ryan Garcia's ass. It's probably not even going to be close. He's probably going to beat the shit out of Ryan. Really easy. I'm not dumb. I'm just hoping that Ryan could get a miracle. It's going to take a miracle. Get a miracle left hook in and possibly hurt him. 
But no, nah, it's not going to be no damn close fight. I was watching the video like, yo, she was, yeah, she was touching her, bro. Look, she was touching her. Alicia Baumgartner her so motherfucking tough on the internet. Tweets all day, talk about, and she she's a, uh, oh, uh, you just jealous of me because I look good, whatever, whatever, whatever. I look, I'm the best and I look good doing it. That was, those are her words. That don't mean nothing. How do I feel about the Richardson Hitchens fight? I did a live reaction yesterday. I think Richardson Hitchens lost. That's what I think. You came for the honesty. Good for you. Oscar, Oscar is pimping Ryan. I believe that. I believe that Oscar De La Hoya knows that Ryan Garcia is going to leave him soon. So, therefore, he knows that these are probably his last fights with Ryan Garcia. So, he knows that he can't. He's just trying to hype him up as much as he could. Hold up. Yo. Hold up, hold up. Admin Dada, thank you. He said Devin had more credible... Devin had a more credible win than Shakur and Hitchens. Who was Devin's more credible win than Shakur and Hitchens, bro? Hey, yo, Mr. Armandara, who was Devin's more credible win? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about Vasily Lomachenko? Because he didn't win that fight. Who are you talking about, Armandara? And who the fuck is you in the chat? You said he's sending cash ass, but who is you in the chat? Who is you in the chat, bro? You're not going to answer? We will wait. Devin's, Devin's most credible opponent was Domachenko. And he, he ain't win that fight. If you know what you're looking at, Armandara. Yeah, he got goals, didn't he? Oh, uh, you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? You don't know shit. I probably, yeah, I, I probably, I clearly blocked him already. Yeah, he, you know what I mean? So he, he this, this is his only way to talk to me on the cash app. So that's right. You got to pay to talk to me. Oh, here we go. He said, for he beat the brakes out of Loma and you banned me. And this is exactly why I ban your dumb ass. Because you say shit like this. He beat the brakes out of Loma. Stop the cat, bro. He got his ass booed out the arena. Lomachenko won that fight. Stop it. This is why I blocked you, bro. So you can keep sending me your mama's stripper money. Keep sending me your mama stripper money. But um Hey yo, thank you for the, the, the cash at Mr. Marcos Rodriguez. He said I eff at your channel ever since you took that goofy's phone in California. Oh man. Um thank you, bro. It looks like you've been watching me for a long time. A long time ago I posted a video. Uh, I'm not proud of it. But uh thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh thank you for the cash app. Phone was trash too. It was like the little uh, ones you buy from Walgreens. But uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that, Marcos Rodriguez. That was a long time ago. Long time ago. I'm not like that no more, bro. I I, I don't commit crimes, bro. This guy, Kahir Wilson, he say, I don't care about being a moderator. I just fuck with you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. God bless you. Remember when I took that phone? Oh man, y'all talking about y'all y'all act like some police is out here, bro. I don't know. Matter of fact, I don't know what you're talking about. Man, you the funniest. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Paul, you always do 180 on fighters you used to like for the weirdest reasons. First deal, then Shakur, now Alicia. Hey, yo, Kevin Pye, bro. I respect your comment, bro. I respect that comment. Anthony Sanders, thank you for the dollar on the cash app. Thank you, Anthony Sanders. Kevin Pye says, you always do a 180 on fighters you like. You know what, bro? Um, Man, bro, I, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Hold on, hold on. First, let me check your shit before I even respond to you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna cuss you out because you make a great point. Who Kevin Pye? Y'all block Kevin Pye already? Did y'all block Kevin Pye? Because I, I don't see him. Anybody bl y'all block Kevin Pye? Where's Kevin Pye? Why is your name Kevin Pye anyway? Y'all block uh Kevin Pye? Hold up. Yo, why did y'all block Kevin Pye? He didn't even he all he was asking was a question. Did y'all block him? Let me check something real quick. Why did y'all block Mr. Kevin Pye? He was only asking a, a honest question. Hold on. Did y'all block him? Anyway, Kevin Pye says, yo, 
why you always do a 180 on fighters? You used to like for the weirdest reasons. Damn, bro. That's a great question, bro, because, you know, it, it's good to have these type of questions. For You say for the weirdest reasons, right? Mr. Kevin Pye, you say the reasons are weird. They might be weird to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know how you be sucking that crackhead's toes on, on the corner? You know, what I'm you know how you invited her into the crib when your mama left for work? You know how you were sucking the crackhead's toes? You know what I mean? She, she like 55 years old. You were sucking her toes knowing she walked around the whole neighborhood with chanclas all day. You were sucking the dirt out of her toes, right? I think that's weird. But you may not think that's weird, bro. That's what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? Your definition of weird and my definition uh, my definition of weird is two different things, bro. I block uh if if I don't like a certain fighter for some shit they do, that's I have my reasons, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I I, I have my own reasons, bro. Um, you may like a just like them crackheads, bro. I, I I don't know what your crackhead fetish is, but you like women who use crack cocaine. I don't. To me, that is weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? So what you eat don't make me shit. You know what I mean? Like, you you are you. You do shit that you do. You know what I mean? Like, you don't wash your feet when you take a shower. You know what I mean? You pee sitting down. I think that is weird for a man to do. But that's just something that you do that I don't do. You know what I mean? So I got my reasons for being me, bro. Like, real shit. Like, in the, in the morning, I'm old. I have a cup of coffee, then I, I eat breakfast. It's just what I do. In the morning, um, you dress up like a female and dance around in your bathroom by yourself. You know what I mean? I think that's weird, but... You do you, I do me, bro. But um, to answer your question, it's all good. Hey, yo, uh, Chinko dice, bro, or Chino dice, bro. Um, uh, I'm gonna give you one chance uh, to to fix uh, to fix how you type, bro. Chino dice, solid part. Thank you. You're right. Thank. I appreciate that. What is your prediction of revenue, Ryan Garcia? I can't predict the revenue, but all I can predict is that it won't do over 1.2 million buys. Mr. Uh, Chino dice, it will not do over 1.2 million, bro. It will not. It will not. It will not do over 1.2 million. That's what I can tell you, uh, Chino dice. It's it's all good, Chino dice, bro. So, Paul, you watching the boxing Olympics in the summer? I might check it out for sure. Hell no. So, Paul, why doesn't PBC not force Canelo to fight David? Yo, bro, um, David Benavides already said they, they talked to him about that. That's why he brought over Jaime Munguia from the zone to PBC and now Heyman, bro. They shouldn't even offer a contract if they've been even on a contract. No, no, they offered him, bro. David Benavides did an interview about that on Cigar Talk. I just did a, a video on it. And I think that um after Munguia, they're going to bring it to him again. I think they should sue Canelo. Because why would Canelo come to PBC and Al Heyman to fight a zone fighter? Jaime Munguia is a zone fighter, bro. Under Eddie K. Yeah, he said saw ball, but he fixed it. Jaime Munguia is a zone fighter. Why would Canelo be fighting a zone fighter um, with PBC and Al Heyman, bro? Hey, yo, thank you for the $20 cash app. Oh, hey, yo, it's Red Gemini. Uh, Miss Marshika, God bless you. And um, God bless you and your family. Your son is the W was was the WBA champ in my opinion. Uh, thank you, Mashi. God, God bless you. Jahan Ingram, in my opinion, will always be the WBA champion because he knocked out Rory Romero. Your son is the champ in my eyes, um, uh, Miss Mashika. You know what I'm saying? God bless you. I appreciate that. One hundred thousand to eighty eighty thousand. I I don't know about that. Uh, I I don't know about that. Maybe. It might do that. Who blocked? Jamal MJ. Who you blocking, Jamal? Hold on, hold on. He said, nigga want to be down like Brandy. Hey, don't block Mookie Chase, bro. He, oh, no, you don't. You don't. He said, you want to be down like Brandy? Hey, you Mookie, hey, Mookie Chase, you like my age, huh? You talking about Brandy. I want to be down. It's all good, little Jay. You good with me, bro. Uh, tell your mother, I, 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 I appreciate it. God, God bless her. Bill Haney thinks that they're going to make more than what's saying. Hell nah, bro. If they was going to make more, the fight will be in, in Las Vegas. It's in the Barclay Center for a reason. If it was at Madison Square Garden, maybe it's the bigger, it will, where the Knicks play. They are, they are fighting where the Nets play. But, um, back to Alicia Baumgartner. Clarissa T-Rex Shields. 
she made this. No, Mookie Chase, you funny, you funny, bro. Yeah, just uh, don't block Mookie Chase. He funny as hell. Ain't no one paying for that fight. I know I ain't. Well, yeah, Chris T Rex Shields made a TikTok. She said, This is me after pressing Alicia Baumgartner. You gotta love Chris T Rex Shields. Say what you want about the girl, she is the most accomplished female. Denzel, 1983. Fire stick night, 420. Damn, bro. Dr. Goya, you gonna hit him with the fire stick? Um, I'm not paying for that fight. I'm not paying for it. I'm not saying I'm stealing it, but I'm not paying for it. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. I will not be paying for I will never pay for a Debra Haney fight. Never. That's just my opinion. I got a right to my opinion. We're in the United States of America. Oozing sauce. It looks like you oozing some sauce to Clarissa dancing, bro. Uh, Mr. Oozing sauce. Clarissa looked good to me. Uh, I think Clarissa Shields looks more, way more feminine than strong face ass Alicia Baumgartner. Alicia Baumgartner got a strong ass face. Like her face strong, man. Like she looked manly. You know what I'm saying? Clarissa Shields got at least feminine features. Her face looked feminine. Alicia Baumgartner, she's strong. You know what I mean? Like, she just, like, she eat dog food. It's my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, her face super strong. Like, she just, she eats, she, like, like she'll get the 20-piece from Popeye's, and she won't even, you will see no bones. She just puts the whole piece of chicken in her mouth, and she chew the bones. Like, hard crunches. Y'all ever give, like, a Rottweiler bones, and you hear, oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I feel like Alicia Baumgartner does, bro. Like, she don't even spit out bones, bro. She true bones. That's that's this is my opinion. You know what I mean? Strong, like look, look at that jawline, bro. Like strong, like she just she could bite through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers scared to let her. I'm not even gonna say that because I don't want to be super disrespectful. But um, I wouldn't trust her below the waist because I don't want. I wouldn't want a um an injury down there. You know what I'm saying? She might, you know, she might get the bite in, but uh, that's that's all I'm gonna say. The crimson chin. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, Alicia Baumgartner is way more feminine looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey yo, it's okay. I'm not gonna say too much on that, bro. But um, I wouldn't trust her. I would not trust that woman. She too strong. She looks like she just like to chew on shit. She, Dominican me say she's taking your soul. Nah, taking your soul is supposed to be a good thing. Um, I think she'll take your manhood. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a funny shit. David Navarrete. Thank you. He said Alicia got that lock jaw. Oh, man. She, uh, she a termite. <laughs> this channel is dope. Much respect. Yo, Gelato, bro. Why is your name look like, like you a foreigner? Leash Gelato. Um, he say dope channel. It, is that a female's name, bro? Oh no, you really count. Thank you, bro. Your channel is dope too, even though you don't have one single video. Hey, yo, the wood, bro. I wouldn't trust her, the wood, bro. I would not trust this woman. She too strong in the jaw, bro. Like she just kibbles and bits face looking ass. He said crimson. <laughs> right. Gr greatest chin in female boxing. Greatest chin ever. After him, like she looked back, I said, "What's up? <laughs> what we doing?" <laughs> I'm gonna run up on you. <laughs> Listen, ain't no mic to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me, nothing at all. If she could, I wouldn't be running my mouth like this. I love that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that in my next video. Mark my words. Tonight, I'm dropping the video with all this shit. Hold up. I ran up on her, bitch. Please, quit playing with me. I, I ran up on that silly hoe. I done put my hands on her. She got to putting her hand on my face, bitch. You better move your motherfucking hand on my face while I snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. You done met your fucking match. Her, I ran up on her hoe. Good plan. I ran up on her. I smacked her hand like she looked back. And I said, what's up? <laughs> what we doing? <laughs> I'm going to run up on you. Listen, ain't no mic to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me. Nothing at all. If she could, I wouldn't be running my mouth like this. I believe it. This guy said, Bill Haney talking about he want Broner to step up for Ryan. Bill Haney ain't no fucking matchmaker. Bill Haney ain't no matchmaker. 
Yo, Mr. TXE, he say, any thoughts on Tank's recent visit? Why does y'all keep talking? I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it on the screen because y'all steady talking about this, bro. Somebody, some clown earlier is like, yo, um, how do you feel about Tank putting on muscle, clown, or some shit? Nah, Clarissa Shields, I think she's more feminine. That's all. She can't do nothing to Clarissa. You right, Clarissa Shields. Hey, yo, Lil J, Clarissa Shields got combination. She fast. She's way more accomplished. She never tested positive. She never lost. She may not have the type of punching power that a bomb gunner got, but I question bomb gunner power. Bomb gunner power might have came from the Mister alone. I'm not saying that she's still taking that, but I think ever since she started training with Bill Haney, she's so damn tough. She's so gangster these days. She wants to take on the role of a villain. You know what I mean? Uh, Lil J, I think, I think, uh, I think your mother would put the hands on Bomb You know what I mean? Like real shit. Bomb she just come off fake to me. Um, she gets no love on this channel. Never. Never again. That's my girl, Clarissa. Yeah, Clarissa Shields is funny as hell, and I like her. She's from the Midwest. Uh, she's from Flint, Michigan. She's not from Detroit. I think Bomb is from Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know where she's from. But I know Clarissa's from, from Flint, Michigan. She on the PF. Yeah, and she fights it. You know what? Matter of fact, hold up. And she fights in MMA. She's an MMA fighter, too, man. You got to respect that because you don't see boxers going to MMA, learning the wrestling, learning the ground shit. You know what I mean? She, she did it, bro. Out of, out of all the boxers, she's the only one you've seen training. You know what I'm saying? She a real woman of God. Yeah, right? Shout out to Carissa Shields. Real shit. When you box in showbiz, bro. Manny Martinez, I don't think showbiz would ever box me, bro. I, I don't think he would ever box me. He's too old. I heard he's like 60, bro, and I respect my elders. But um, if he can make it happen, hit the email. I will happily box him anytime. Didn't Regis Regis, Regis say he wanted to do MMA? Yeah, you're right. Remember what you was talking about the other day? Hold on, hold on. Tata Goya, thank you. He said, remember what you was talking about the other day? Yeah, people get so loud that they can't get everybody's attention because they don't want to. You know what, Tata Goya? You're right, bro. When Clarissa Shields was pressing her. Hold up. No, no, great point. Great point, bro. Shout out to Tata Goya. When Clarissa Shields was pressing her. Alicia Baumgartner did that. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to put it bigger. Look at it. She turned towards the crowd. Tata Goya, thank you for that comment, bro. You made a great point. When Clarissa Shields was pressing her, um, Baumgartner started looking towards the crowd. What she's trying to do is get the crowd's attention. You already got 100 million cameras around. Just like when Bill Haney said, yo, um, let's fight right here. Uh, get on where you get mad at. Whenever you want to fight somebody, and the first thing they do is get really, really loud. All they are doing is calling the motherfucking police. They don't really want to fight you. Alicia Baumgartner turned towards the crowd because she wanted to say, yo, look at this crazy girl approaching me. You know what I'm saying? We just went out make it. Yeah, he a little too old. Yeah, she tried. Sam, I am. You're right. She trying to call the police. But like Tata Goya said, whenever you want to fight somebody, you're going to say, yo, hey, let's go over here and fight. I'll beat shit out you one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I mean? Whenever they get loud, they just want to tell Like, yo, somebody break this up because they scared. Baumgartner was scared. And I don't care what nobody say. She gets no love on his channel. Man, I want to buy these. I won't buy these celebrity pay-per-view stuff. But if you on it, Misfits, bro, it don't even got to be on that, bro. Like, I would box a buddy in an alley, you know, in a parking lot, Walmart parking lot. You know what I mean? It don't got to be nowhere. But I don't think he'll do that. We're talking about Aki TV, right? Hold on, hold on. Cash 76. Say, why? Nah, bro. Cash 76, bro. Hey, if you born in 1976, you should know better than this, bro. If you born in 76, that means you 45 years old, bro. Hey, yo, Cash 76, where you from, bro? Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. Cash 76, say... Why would he go to the bathroom with Bernard Hopkins? This ain't no middle school. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to read your cut. Why would you go to the bathroom with Bernard? This ain't no middle school. Bill called out Bernard. He a G for that. Oh, man. First of all, you're going to get blocked because you know what the fuck a G is. If you think Bill is a G, then your mama's a B-I-T-C-H. Yo, first, yo, first off, block him because I'm, I'm, I don't want a bitch like that on commenting. 
First off, you say, why would he go to the bathroom with Bernard? This ain't no middle school. Exact. Maybe you miss what I'm you 45 years old, bro. Maybe you miss what I'm talking about. Stupid. You could tell you you were soft 45. You could tell you you were Oakland 45 years old. What was it? What have I been talking about for the last 10 minutes? Stupid. When you really want to fight somebody, you finna fight them where nobody could break it the fuck up. Stupid. Why would he fight? Why would Bernard Hopkins fight Bill right there? Knowing it's a hundred million cameras, a hundred million police, a hundred million security. The most the fight would go would be Bernard hitting Bill one time and they break it right up. What is you talking about? Of course he want to take him to the bathroom so he could beat the shit out of him for about 20 minutes straight. Stupid. You probably from Oakland, California, ain't you, right? You probably from Oakland, right? Yo, yo, the wood. Thank you. You he and he probably from Oakland. So he wants Bill and Bernard to fight right there. So only one punch can happen, and then they break it up. They separate them. It wasn't no fight. It was just a quick little uh, sucker punch. Why not go to the bathroom where both of y'all can fight for as long as y'all want? Somebody stand by the door. Whoever walk out, walk out. Just like in jail. Yo, yo, look, yo, little Jay. No timeouts. Just block. Like we don't give timeouts. It's straight headshots. Bang, get them out of here. Cause I don't, I don't want people like that commenting on my shit. Cause they're gonna come back after they done with their timeout, and that that's a good way to identify them. Cause if they come back, their account's gonna say made today. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna see who they is. So all good, little Jay. You good? But yeah, of course it's better to fight somebody in a bathroom where nobody could break it up. So you could so instead of landing one punch and security break it up. You could land a hundred punches and nobody's stopping it. So, buddy who just said that, you stupid, bro. Like, you dumb for real, bro. Of course you want to take him where he could beat him up for a very long time. Then hit him right there where everybody could break it up. You could tell how soft you is, bro. You probably from Oakland, California, ain't you, bro, right? Mr. Hella is good, right? Bay Area Clown, Mr. Oakland, California, soft as hell, right? Palm tree. Mountains, right? Hella is good, right? So dumb ass out of here. Of course you want to take him to the bathroom where he could beat the shit out of him and nobody can separate it. So dumb ass out of here, bro. But he don't know, he don't, he don't, man. Hey, when somebody's from Oakland, you, you got to excuse them because they're from Oakland. When somebody's from Oakland, you got to excuse them because they don't know shit. Like they're born soft. Right, Mr. Hella, right, they, they be saying that shit out there. Yo, Hella, Hella is good. Hella is good. Yo, mama good. Yo, mama good. Dumbass. Hey, yo, um, Mix Hooper says, for one of your old moderators, Black Me, it's Bless, Bless Mix YouTube. Yo, Bless Mix YouTube, DM me on IG. I'm going to check your account. If you got blocked for no reason, I will unblock you. Um, Hit me up on Instagram. DM me on the IG. You can't follow me on IG, but I'll accept your DM and see if your account is real. So, yeah, uh, southpaw.tv on Instagram. Um, just send me your account, and I will check it to make sure you ain't sending us stupid. Uh, Anthony Saunders, thank you for the cash app. He says... B. Diddy likes to party. You got to tell him no. <laughs> Shout out to Big Fendi. Alicia is learning fast from B. Diddy how to saw punch and call the police. Alicia Baumgartner is not really like that. She don't want to fight Clarissa Shields. She wants people to think she want to fight her because she just wants a little bit of attention after testing positive for steroids. Once you test positive for steroids, it's going to stick with you forever. When I see Canelo... I see a man who tested positive. I'm always going to see a man who tested positive, especially if it's a fighting sport. Alicia Baumgartner, I'm a, I see a girl who always tested positive. Uh, Ms. Sterilone, that's what I see. I I always see her as a, as a drug cheat. Like Clarissa T-Rex Shields was talking about her. She a drug cheat. That's what the fuck she is. A drug cheat. Uh, Alicia Baumgartner is a drug cheat. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. She gets no love on this channel, and Clarissa Shields will dog walk that motherfucker, bro. She'll dog walk that hoe. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Drug cheat. 
Hold up. If I missed y'all comments, I, I, I apologize. Motherfucker don't know shit about, but yeah, they're right. Police caller. Bill ain't calling my either. Bernard told him to step in the bathroom. Um, Bill ain't go to that bathroom though. Bill ain't called. Yeah, you know what? Don't don't worry about him, bro. He gone, bro. He out of here. He out of here, bro. Money boy still get nightmares about you. Nah, bro. Uh, that guy's cool. He's a promoter for his brother. That guy's cool, bro. I'm not. I got nothing but uh, I wish him the best in, in his life. He all good, bro. That's all good. That that's that don't mean nothing. He's a good promoter for his brother. He said, could you start a series where you react, where you rate and react to the viewer boxing videos? My wife told me to do that. She probably watching downstairs, or she may not be. I, I don't know. But she told me to react. I just don't want to get copyrighted on some shit. But I I, I would do that. But I'd rather react. You see me react to the the the, the new fights, the live ones. What did say? Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, hold on. Are you asking about Tank? I'm going to show y'all what, what he posted. Hold up. Yo, Chino D said, thank you for the $10 on the cash app. Chino D said, he say, keep doing your thing. Much respect. Thank you, Mr. Chino D said, bro. I appreciate you. Mr. Chino D said on the cash app, God bless you and your family. Do not go stealing today, bro. I know you try to go to a liquor store and you try to work, run out with that uh 24 pack of Corona. And it's okay, bro. Sometimes you got to pay for it. You can only steal about twice a month. They're going to catch your ass, bro. Mr. Chino D said, bro. I know you take the 24 packs of Modelo. You take the limes, right? Yeah, that's you. I saw you. It's okay. I saw you on the news. I know that face anywhere. Chino dice. Chino dice. I know that face anywhere, bro. You you the one stealing coronas. But it's okay, bro. Just next, just pay for it next time. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, yeah, yeah, hold up. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a uh yeah. This is Javante. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, right, here we go. Hold up. This was Javante. Hold up, hold up. This was Javante Davis on Twitter today or Instagram somewhere. But some clowns like, yo, how come you don't talk about Javante Davis putting on muscle? For those of y'all who box, actually box, box, not just watch boxing like most 90% of boxing fans. For those of y'all who actually stay in shape enough to fight somebody, look at Javante Davis right here. Does it look like Javante Davis is swole up? No, it looked like Javante's maybe more, a little more ripped up. It looks like he put, it looks like he cut a lot of fat. Yeah, Javante Davis, I mean, I, I don't see a swole Javante Davis, bro. It looked like you could see his ab muscles a little more. It looked like he got a little more in his shoulder, but it didn't look like he put on muscle, bro. Some of y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about, bro. Javante Davis didn't put on no muscle. Yeah, he, uh, Mookie Chase, right? The man is just cut up. He's getting ready for a fight. You know what I'm saying? It's usually a Canelo fan saying that. I know Canelo Alvarez is usually out of shape. He drink a lot. Yeah, he's just in shape, bro. He ripped, and he's not jacked, and there is a big difference. Chino D said, you are absolutely right, bro. He's more shredded. That means his body fat is uh is becoming less because he is in training camp. He's not bulking up stupid. So to the clown who sent me that money on a cash app earlier, he ain't building muscle, dum-dum. He's shredding up. Something you wouldn't know nothing about. I can show y'all a, a picture of me. When I was uh, boxing, I was shredded like a motherfucker. My wife says I look scary. She's like, I don't like you looking like that. You look scary. And I didn't even know what she meant. But when I look up, I, right now, I'm still in shape, but I'm not, like, fighting shape. You know what I mean? Like, I was ripped up. You could see every little, like, you know, I was shredded like a motherfucker. I would, I would eat just leaves all day. Leaves and water. You know what I mean? I, 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 I had no body fat. The hate for Tank is ridiculous. They hate, hey, oh, the wood. Yo, the wood, the wood. I, I love that because... The reason why so many people hate on Tank is because Javante Davis, they they gravitate towards Devin because they see a bit of themselves in Devin. That old soft motherfucker, bro, the whole soft spoken, you know, like, you know, little corny. They gravitate towards Devin because they see a bit of themselves in Devin. When they look at Javante Davis, Javante Davis' strength is their weakness. 
When they see Javante Davis, they see the guy that used to bully them in school. Like, I don't like that dude, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he he scared me. Um, I don't like his demeanor. He come off as the street dude that they are not. When they see Devin, they see the lame, the cornball, the goofy. So, oh, yeah, I like him because he's more like me. Like Ryan Garcia fans. A lot of them is like kids because he come off like a kid. Um, Canelo fans. They see Canelo, the alcoholic. They alcoholic, so they like who is like them. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, same shit. Devin fans gravitate towards Devin because they see themselves in him. They pussy. They don't like Javante because he threatening to them type shit. You know, and that's all it is. The word the hate for tank is from Devin fans because they they soft and deep down they know they soft. Big facts. Thank you. Devin Trash. Most definitely. Yeah, you're right, bro. That's that's just what it is. DJ Charm. You're right, bro. Uh, the guy, 787, he said, when your girl said you look scary, that's a good thing. Trust me, she liked it. Um, Yeah, my wife said that I look too, like, shredded type shit. But uh, she said I look psycho. <laughs> my wife said I look psycho like that. She said, you look like a fucking psychopath. I was too shredded. I was, like, just... Rip the fuck up. Um, yeah, I'm I'm growing out my curls like David Benavidez. She said I, my, my my wife think I'm she said I look crazy, like a crazy, like a cuckoo motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, why the fuck did you get with me then? I'm just playing, she probably watching. But yeah, you know, it's so it's okay. He say, uh yo, Va Va uh, Mr. Valentine on Rumble. Nah, bro, I don't agree with you on that. Mr. Valentine on Rumble. I have to disagree with you, bro. I'm all about peace, bro. I'm all about peace, and I don't agree with that, bro. Um, You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with violent individuals in the world. You know what I'm saying? You probably got your face down ass up five times a day, and you probably speak in Arabic. You probably saying Arabic quotes, knowing that Arabic is not your first language, bro. Get your ass out the air, bro. You look crazy. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Excellent show. K.O.D., I appreciate you, bro. Hit the like button. He say, G Money. Yo, G Money Navarro. What? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. G Money Navarro. Back to racist thoughts. Who who's talk, who, who's thinking racist? Hey yo, um, G Money, who, who's thinking racist, bro? Um, hey yo, uh Somebody check G Money's account, bro. Because if you're a real account, we could talk about it. But um, if you're not a real account, you're gonna get blocked. Of course, you just made your shit. Get your dumb ass out of here, bro. Like I said, I mean every single thing I say. The fight last night was crazy. You're right. What kind of show is this? It's a show that you're. It's a show that you only have one life. Yo, Eric, go go away. He said, "What kind of show is this? You only have one life, bro." And you're wasting your time watching my show. You know what I'm saying, stupid? What type of show is this? Oh, yeah, you just made your shit. You finna get black. You have one life, and you're wasting your life watching my show, bro. So that's what type of show this is with your bitch ass. Hey, yo, Mr. Wise, bro. Um, F California, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, F California and everybody in it. You know, I stand what I say. I mean, no, nah, only Oakland and L.A. Yeah, I'm not worried about dude, bro, because they're only gangsta in comment sections, and it's okay. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. Tank was sleeping on the sidewalk. Cognac, thank you. Hey, Devin fans be so mad, bro. Devin fans be so damn mad. Like, they they, they make it personal. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean what I say, and I I, I can see y'all on Rumble, too. Um, Matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say a prayer. For everybody here, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Dear God up in heaven, God bless everybody in my chat. God bless them and their family. In Jesus' name, amen. You see how easy that was? You see how I didn't have to speak Arabic to talk to Jesus? I didn't have to pretend I speak Arabic. I could just pray to God. See how easy that was? I didn't have to pretend that I know Arabic like Devin and them. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to dress Arabic. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to put my ass in the air. I just kind of, 
You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, see how easy that was, bro? Amen. Praise Jesus. Always. You could. Jesus loves you for who you are. Somebody type that up. Jesus loves you for who you are. Somebody type that up and it's like a penny. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Amen. Praise Jesus. Somebody type up Jesus loves you for who you are. Because I see y'all on Rumble. And it's okay, bro. I mean, it's okay. Hey, um, tell your mama to show her hair. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you right. Um, Jesus loves you for who you are, bro. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. Jesus loves you for who you are. Jesus will never make you try to speak Arabic. Um, he will never make you dress Arabic. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, whether you speak Spanish, Polish, whether you speak Lithuanian, English, Jesus loves you, bro. He doesn't make you become Arabian. You must speak to me in Arabian. You must dress Arabian. You must grow your beard out like an Arabian. You must always say Arabian shit. Nah, bro. He loves you for who you are. You don't gotta, you don't gotta speak a certain language to love Jesus. That's all I gotta say. You know what I mean? You don't gotta put your ass in the motherfucking air like you getting. You know what I'm saying? Because he could just, you could like, you could pray just like this, just like I did with Shah. I'm gonna pray again. Dear God, um, God bless everybody in my chat and their families. Make sure everybody has a blessed, blessed day with uh, with their kids and their friends and family. In Jesus' name, amen. See how easy that is? And I said it in English. So that's to y'all. Yo, God is king on Rumble. I second that comment. I cannot put it on the screen, but I love your comment. God is king on Rumble. Thank you. Amen. Amen to that. Hey, yo, Admin Dada says, you don't... You don't gotta be from the struggle to be a good boxer. Um, nah, uh, you you it shows who you are in the ring, though, Mr. Admandada. I know I know you're that Devin Haney fan, but um, you don't have to be from the struggle to be a good boxer, nah. But you know what? The dog in you comes out when you get hit. Everybody type up what Devin Haney did when he got hit by Jorge Linares. If some of y'all can remember what Devin Haney did. When he got hit by Jorge Danares, type it up in the comment section. Devin Underwood, thank you. I appreciate you, Devin Underwood, bro. God bless you, Devin Underwood. Everybody type it up. He got, but what did he do after that? Yo, thank you for the cash at Mr. Daniel Navarrete. God bless South Paul TV in Jesus' name. God bless you. Uh, Daniel Navarrete, God bless you, bro. And uh, God bless your son in the picture. My comment got to that sucker. Hey, yo, Cognac, bro. You heard him. You heard his feelings, bro. He, hey, you heard his feelings. Trust me, you did, bro. God bless you, Cognac, bro. Stop drinking Cognac, bro. Like, bro, bro. Change your name, bro. You know what I mean? Change your name to Water Conjour, not Cognac, bro. I'm just playing. He had noodle legs and he clenched up. You know, you could tell if an ass whooping is the worst thing that could happen to you when you get hit in that ring. When Mario Barrios hit Gervonta, Javante clinched up. I mean, he didn't clinch up. He bit down on that mouthpiece, and he knocked him out. Linares cracked Devin Haney. Devin Haney clinched up the rest of the fight. Lomachenko cracked Devin Haney. He started clinching up. Devin Haney don't got that dog in him at all whatsoever, bro. But uh, that's the difference. You could tell how you came up from how – Hey, anybody could beat this shit. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me explain something to y'all, bro. Really quick. Hold on. Where this shit at? All right. If you box, type up a yes. If you box, type up a yes. Man, hey, I got that mad as hell on Rumble. And it's okay, bro. Hey, um, I don't know how many times you prayed today, but um, I bet you at least three or four more times, you better have your butt in the air. Take your ass out the air and praise Jesus. Anyway, um, you box, right? Okay. Anybody could learn how to throw punches. Just by my jab, jab, too. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, five, five. You know what I mean? Anybody can learn how to throw punches. Anybody could punch somebody, right? Boxers only, right? Hey, if you even if you used to box, you know what you at least you know. Anybody could punch somebody, crack somebody in their jaw. You could hurt somebody, they could fold and they could get hurt and quit or drop, whatever. But you don't know who somebody is until they get cracked. Right? 
Anybody could whoop on somebody, beat the shit out of somebody in the ring. Cool. They're used to doing it. They are good athletically. They are strong. They are technically sound. This and this, right? But you really don't know who somebody is until they get punched in their motherfucking mouth. As soon as they get hit, you find out everything. You all, you always wanted to know. What do they got inside that heart? You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, uh, Devin Haney don't got shit, but a kitty cat. You hit Devin Haney, and he clinches up for his life. Face down, ass up five times a day. He should be ashamed of himself. You know what I'm saying? Tyson said it best. Everybody got a plan till they get hit in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? But uh, absolutely. Devin don't got that shit in his heart, bro. Because when you hurt him, he clinches up and um, just wants to survive, bro. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, bro. Um, um, Absolutely. Yo, thank you for the cash at Mr. Hold on, hold on. He says, what? Yo, what the hell? Who is Mohammed, ja? He says, Mohammed married a six-year-old girl named Aisha. Aisha? What does it say? Mohammed married a six-year-old girl named Aisha. What the hell is that, bro? Who is Mohammed? And why would you marry a kid? That's disgusting, bro. Who married you? Oh, he just said another cash app. Muhammad was 50-something years old marrying a child. Ew, hey, that's disgusting, bro. What do y'all th think about what this man is sending on a cash app? He said that there was a 54-year-old man who married a 6-year-old. That's disgusting, bro. What the fuck? Hey, bro, I'm going to I'm gonna have to block this cash app. Bro. He said now he's just talking crazy, bro. That's That's sick. What do y'all think about a 54-year-old man marrying a six-year-old girl? That's that's sick, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to know what you're talking about. That's that's disgusting. Who who's Mohammed? Is he a boxer? Is he an actor? Who is that? That's sick, bro. That's it makes you want to puke. Who is that? I saw that on Twitter. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, for real? Oh, really? He married a, a six-year-old girl? What the fuck? Oh, wow. Is that true? W what do y'all think about that? Oh, man. That's fucking disgusting. What? Nah, he can't He can't be a... What, what, y'all calling him a prophet? Nah, that ain't no damn profit for real. Hey, is y'all serious? Hey, I don't, I don't, I'm not too educated on on that stuff. Are, are y'all sure about this? He's like a big person in. Oh hell no! Nah. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Oh shit! That's sick, bro. I don't know what he is even talking about, but uh, he's sending cash apps. He sent two cash apps. He say. Mohammed was 54 years old. Aisha was six years old. They got married when she was six, like a six-year-old. Oh, nah. He said, y'all dead ass. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know what that is, bro. I, I don't even know. That's That sounds disgusting to me, bro. But I don't even want to talk about that. I'm not here to talk about that. Do what? Is that who you talking about? Oh, man. Oh, that makes me want to puke. That's disgusting, man. But um, that's the... God is King 60 on... Oh, okay. Yo, God is King 360 on Rumble. I see your comment. And uh yeah, yeah. Oh, I had I didn't I didn't know I didn't know. I'm y'all y'all are teaching me right now. I have no idea. He is no uh oh shit. Oh no man. Um as a father, as a father myself, I find that disgusting. Um yeah, that's R. Kelly type of shit, if you ask me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. I'm saying about you. You keep worrying about Tank. Y'all niggas love that. B. Diddy. This is what I'm saying. B. Diddy. B. Diddy. This is B. Diddy. This is A. 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 B. Diddy. 
B Diddy, B Diddy, B Diddy, this one, B Diddy, this B Diddy, this one, B Diddy, B Diddy, this one, B Diddy, this is what I'm saying about you. You keep worrying about Tank. Y'all niggas love that nigga. Yeah, but uh, okay. He was the original B Diddy. That's that's what it sound like. Anyways, let's get back to boxing, man. I'm not no religious channel. I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about with that. But uh, okay, all good, bro. All good. B Diddy. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. That's disgusting. But uh, anyways, Alicia Baumgartner did did not want no problems with the uh, quiz of T Rex Shields. But um, yeah, he sounds like you're hitting the turntables, right? AOC, as a matter of fact, hey, I should make a song out of this shit. B Diddy, this is what I'm saying. Hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, this hey, B Diddy, this is what I'm saying about you. You keep worrying about tank. Y'all think I don't know, Tony Hatton, bro, but this this conversation went left. You talking about some creep shit if you ask me. You know, I, I would never praise somebody like that. He sounds like uh the worst example of humanity. That's what he sounds like. Uh, the worst example, like a true piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? True piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Violin Valentine. Um, yeah, bro. He's a he's a he's a piece of shit. Um, Violin Valentine on, on Rumble. You know that that's just what I say. But anyways, let's get back to Chris and Shields. Enough of that. Bitch, please, quit playing with me. I, I ran up on that silly hoe. I done put my hands on her. She got to putting her hand on my face, bitch. You better move your motherfucking hand on my face while I snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. You done met your fucking match. I, I ran up on her. Good plan. I ran up on her. I smacked her him like she looked back. I said, what's up? <laughs> what we doing? <laughs> I'm going to run up on you. Listen, ain't no might to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me. Nothing at all. If she could, I wouldn't be running my mouth like this. Yeah, I think they need to make that fight happen. It it it's all it all determines about what what weight the fight would actually be at. You know what I mean? Um, I think that Carissa Shields is the bigger fighter, way more accomplished. Uh, Alicia Baumgartner just wants to get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of attention right now. I think she way too small to box Carissa T Rex Shields. Um, yeah, that's that's what I think. He said, "Yo, Sneeko is a devout scumbag." He said, "Every man should see his girl get smashed." That ill, bro. I'm 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 done talking about all that religious stuff because I don't even know what the hell I'm mean, what y'all are even saying. But based off um based off what everybody's saying, uh it makes you want to throw up, you know what I'm saying? Like vomit. It sounds like the, the most I don't think that's I, I I don't I don't I don't believe that that's true about what y'all are saying, that that's actually a religion. There's no way a religion um praises uh sick shit like that. I don't believe that's Devin's religion. I could be wrong, but uh, there's no way that's a religion. There is no way in hell that that could be a religion. That that there's no way, no way at all, bro. Um, that sounds too disgusting, like too criminal. But um, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't. I don't. I don't know about that stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, those are facts. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about that, bro. Uh, praise Jesus. That's all I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's I don't know about all that, man. But uh, I'm going to leave y'all with this. What y'all think about Clarissa T-Rex uh, Shields' dance moves? That's how she's going to be dancing over Alicia Baumgartner, a.k.a. the queen of Mesterolone, uh, once she, once she uh, stop her, drop her and stop her. I feel like, you know, she would dance over her just like that, you know? Yo, Heather E., all I saw was Alicia. Heather E., what up? She said, all I saw was Alicia Baumgartner turning away from Clarissa Shields. Yeah, she didn't want no smoke with her. She did not want no smoke with Clarissa Shields. Um, Heather E. Hey, yo, Heather E., did you see this? Heather E., cool. Please, quit playing with me. I, I ran up on that silly hoe. I done put my hands on her. She got to putting her hand on my face, bitch. You better move your motherfucking hand on my face while I snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. You done met your fucking match. I, I ran up on her hoe. Good plan. I ran up on her. I smacked her him like she looked back. I said, what's up? <laughs> what we doing? I'm going to run up on you. Listen, ain't no might to it. Alicia can't do nothing with me. Nothing at all. If she nothing could, I wouldn't be running Nothing at all like whatsoever. This.
Of course, she don't want no smoke. She called that security. Yeah, Lil J. Um, she was calling. She was calling out to the crowd because she she did not want to fight her at all whatsoever. And I I don't think um, I don't think she would fight her. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think I'm gonna end this live. I think that's it for now. Thank y'all for tuning in for over an hour and 25 minutes. Yeah, had to eat right for real. She didn't want no damn smoke. Hey, Alicia Baumgartner gets no love on this channel. She gets no love on this channel at all whatsoever. Uh, she just she gets no love on this channel. But um, um. I think that's it for this. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, Clarissa T-Rex Shields over Alicia Baumgartner. Any day, all day, every day. Um, Alicia Baumgartner is a disgrace to women's boxing, in my personal opinion. Clarissa T-Rex Shields shows she's the GOAT when she jumped in Alicia's face. Yeah, and, and um, absolutely. And Alicia Baumgartner didn't do a motherfucking thing besides cry to the crowd. She was trying to. She was trying to say, "Yo, somebody, please break this up." You know what I mean? Absolutely. Orlando G. I'm says, "I'm the I'm the most undisputed blocker on YouTube." You're right, bro, and I'm proud of that because y'all not gonna get gangster with me in comment sections. No one damn on in person, uh, you would be running for your life. So you're right. I block every motherfucking body because you're not gonna get super gangster on in in a chat, knowing that you would not say these things to my face. You, you wouldn't say shit to me, like nothing. You would call the police um, and run for your motherfucking life in person. You know you would, bro. You know you're not like that, bro. You are not like that in real life, bro, at all. But um, thank y'all for tuning in. Debra Haney is off. Praise Jesus. I'm gone.